Welcome to our lesson about connection and route points. In this lesson, we'll learn how to add connection points and route points to our component. In my graphic area, I've got a flange. Let's start by inserting a new sketch. I'll right-click on the front plane, Insert Sketch. And let's activate the Point tool. I'll place a point right about here, and a second point here. Now Smart Dimension. The distance between the points will be a quarter inch, 0.25. OK. One point will be my connection point. The second point is going to be my route point. First, let's create a route point. Routing. Routing tools. Create route point. Basically, the route point is used to position the component, the flange in our case, at the end or intersection of the 3D sketch. Let's select this point and then click OK. And we've created a route point. To edit this point, we simply right click on it and select Edit Feature. Let's cancel out of that property manager. And let's create a connection point now. Back to the routing menu, Routing Tools, Create Connection Point. You may be wondering what the connection point is. It's the point where the tube connects to the component, the flange in our case. Let's select this cylindrical face. This red arrow specifies the direction of the connection. We can check here to reverse that direction. If I want the connection to be on this plane, I can pretty much leave as is. However, I want my connection to be at a different point. This point here. Notice the red arrow moves. Next, we specify the route type, tube in our case. Now we can specify the nominal diameter or select a tube. I'm going to browse for a tube. Open. Let's use a 2 inch configuration. OK. Now we can enter the stub length, let's say 2 inches. Minimum straight length and end length adjustment, let's set to 0. Accept. Now let's insert a mate reference. Go to Insert, Reference Geometry, Mate Reference. And I'll select this cylindrical edge here. There we go. And click OK. Now we've got our route point, our connection point, and here's our mate reference. To edit the mate reference, just right click on it and select Edit Definition. Let's bring this flange to the SolidWorks Design Library. I'm going to simply grab and drag the part right into the library. The Add to Library Property Manager opens, prompts me for a name. Let's call it My Flange. And click OK to confirm the addition to the library. Now I'm going to create a new assembly document. OK. Cancel out of this property manager. Let's go to Insert, Component, New Part. And let's right click on the part, select Edit Part. I'm going to insert a sketch on the top plane. Right click, Insert Sketch. I'll just create a simple plate here. Center line. Right click and select to close the tool. Select the center point and the construction line and add a midpoint relation. Click OK. And let's apply dimensions. 2 inches is 50.8 millimeters. Let's click OK. OK, let's exit the sketch. Isometric view. Go to the Features tab now. Extruded boss base. Let's accept the default values and return to our assembly. 
Now let's bring in our flange. My flange. Notice how it snaps to the hole. The assembly's got to be saved before we can begin routing. Yes, we'll save now. Let's name it 96. And click Save. OK. Next, let's select the tube configuration. As you know, the tube diameter is controlled by the connection point. Since we created the C point for a 2 inch diameter, under the base configuration, only 2 inch diameter options are available. Scroll down a bit, a 2 inch bend radius is just fine. And let's accept. OK, let's just reposition and tweak it a bit. And let's go to the Sketch tab now. Activate the Line tool. Right-click and select to close the tool. Let's place a second flange now at the end of this tube. Close. Now I'm going to split this sketch line and place a couple more flanges. Right click, select Split Entities, and let's select our split point. Now we'll grab and drop in my flange. To change the flange direction, press the Tab key before you release the mouse. Let's drop a second flange here too. OK, let's exit our sketch. And now let's exit Edit Component Mode. I want to make these flanges transparent. Let's make some changes. Let's right click on one of the flange features, select Appearances. And let's scroll down to Optical Properties. Let's say 80% transparent. Notice that all of the flanges are affected. Let me just zoom in a little bit. With the flange feature transparent, it's a little easier to see inside how the connection point and the route point work. This concludes our lesson about adding connection points and route points to components.